Next thing we're going to do is put on the GSR uh, windage tray to go over this girdle. Welcome back YouTube to my channel. This is Project No Rice. So our next step now, put on this windage tray. These are M6 uh, by 1.0 pitch uh, threads. And these ones are a little less than one inch long. I think they're about 0.8s because they're metric. Uh, I believe it's 20, or is it 20? Anyways, um, just measure it with a zip tie, mark it. Now they have the windage tray tightened down. Here's the new oil pump. So the sealer we're gonna use which is the only sealer you should have in your house. The right stuff. This shit is super good. It never I've never had a leak once I use this stuff, okay? Right stuff. And it comes in a can like this. Or in a bigger can like that. Okay? Anyways. <clears throat> We're going to put a thin coating all along the mate. We're going to put a small coating inside this groove and then put the o-ring inside the groove. And that goes around this hole right here. Once you get it spread like this, take a rag and you want to just wipe the inside edges so that you don't have any access, access inside. Just do this whole area. Oops, sorry, I'm fucking the camera up. Um, but you don't want any of this shit to be in the actual motor, right? So then go here. Just like that. So we're all cleaned out. Okay. Now we put the oil pan, uh, the oil pump on. Oh, and there's the O-ring put in with our TV in there too. We need to lube up this crank, um, and then I used a small flathead and sort of just, you know, if it something looked like it was getting caught. Just sort of flip it up until it got on to the ridge. You have an M8.125, uh, M8.125, and all the rest of these small ones are M6 1.0s. So just tighten these down now. You should have very minimal squeeze out all the way around you should barely have anything just like this come on focus camera there we go see that's like barely anything all the way around okay that means you didn't put too much so wipe off the excess and let's move on to the next piece dang look how pretty it looks if you've noticed, I'm using different bolts. We're going overkill on this. Remember, no rice, no bullshit. Top of the line, everything. Look at that, 10.9 metric. That's the strongest bolts you can get. And they're all 10.9s. I'm doing the entire motor with all brand new hardware. I don't give a shit. If there's nothing wrong with it, it's all going to look sexy and be overkill strong. Now we're going to install the oil pickup. Here's the part number. Straight from Honda. And we're going to use the RTV like we did on here. But also on the gasket. So let me show you that. So what you're going to do is put a super, super, super thin layer of RTV on both sides of this gasket. And then put the gasket on here. So go ahead. Rub it on like this is the easiest way. 
Now clean out all the extra from inside the holes. Then drop the gasket onto the pump. Take your pickup. Slide the pickup on like so. And get your brand new hardware from here. Go ahead and put this on. And then you're going to have um, half inch screws. Looks like M6 by uh, M6 1.0 by half an inch, I believe. So like these ones and put those in the top of the pickup. And once again, wipe off any squeeze out that happens. You shouldn't have any. If you did, you probably put too much on this gasket. So, see that nice hardware? Ooh, look it's so sexy. Next thing we're going to do, after you hot tank the engine, they had to take, well, before they hot tanked it, they had to take all these plugs out. So there's like six, six of these plugs, five or six of them. Um, so what we're going to do is put a little bit of, well, we're going to clean, clean the threads, then put a little bit of um, right stuff on it, then torque these biatches in. Now let's put on the water pump. Uh, here's the water pump. We're going to put a little bit of right stuff in the groove, put the o-ring in, and then slap it on. Once you put it on and you put the o-ring in, wipe off uh, the extra. You don't want a bunch in there to be able to fly off and get in your cooling system. You're going to have two long ones here and here and three shorter ones here, here and here. And torque them down. Just uh, use one hand and like four fingers on your one hand. And unless you're a beast then, I don't know, if you're doing this by yourself you should know what it feels like to have a tight bolt. Here are the head studs. Since it's an LS VTEC swap, you need the VTEC uh, head studs. There's a part number. So we're going to put that on. I just sort of tapped on the oil pan just so that it wouldn't get dirty. Um, even though I wrap it with a big garbage bag anyways. But uh, yeah. Here are the specs for these bolts. 80 foot pounds same as the bottom so what we're gonna do is 20 40 60 80 is gonna be our torquing put the supplied lube on the head studs and then screw them into the block here's a head gasket comedic multi-layer steel gasket now if you see mine says 82 millimeters you need to make sure you get it for whatever bore size your pistons are. Okay, so this is, a, I think stock is 81 millimeter. We went one millimeter over. And this one's 30 thousandths thick. B18 uh, LS VTEC. This one actually has different cutouts for the coolant and the oil. So anyways, if you're going to run 82 millimeter pistons, there's your part number. Clean the deck with a non-shedding rag and brake cleaner. Let it dry. That way it's clean. It says up right here on the head gasket. There you go. Now let's go get our sexy head. I'm going to tell you a little bit about that. On the next episode, motherfuckers, you're going to have to wait. Alright, so next episode, you're going to get to see the head, all the goodies we did to the head, and uh, 
you know, how everything goes on. Nice. Anyways, till next time, wrench on. Wrench on. <laughs>